I think I chose South Africa for a number of reasons. Every time I come here, rather than going putting my toes in the sand on the beach, I seem to be spending my time in wineries. I'm the 12th generation winemaker in my family. You know, my father is a, a very well-known South African winemaker. My grandfather was one of the big pillars of the South African wine industry. And it was just something that's always been part of my life. It was never a choice, it's just something that was always there. Matt and I first met about six years ago, and we found that we um, not only shared a common interest in, in, in wine as, as winemakers, but also uh, in pushing the boundaries and uh, challenging each other. It's been one of the most exciting partnerships to work on. Um, it was always about, we're not going to set ourselves any limitations. We are just going to make sure that whatever we do is to make the best, just make it absolute perfection. You know, the, the opportunity exists here in uh, the Western Cape to, to really do what you want to do and to do it the way you want to do it. South Africa itself, the, the country, the soil, the people, the terroir, it's an incredibly generous country. I mean, abundance of sunshine, the soil is rich, it's fertile. It, you know, it, as Martin always refers to, said, it's the ancient lands, and, and it literally is. This is the cradle of, of humankind. Each of the areas, each of the regions has something incredibly exciting. You just have to go and find the little diamond that's, that's hiding there that you can unlock. We decided we're going to make a, a South African straight 100% Cabernet Sauvignon and um, a Chardonnay. And the, the fruit for those would come from Stellenbosch, from the Golden Triangle, from the, from the best of the best, the best that we could find. Of course, um, Matt with his heritage, 12th gen generation in a straight line with his family making MCC, uh, we were always going to also make some sparkling wines. So there's the Blanc and then there's the Rosé. So all of a sudden we're up to four wines. For the 2019 vintage, we've also managed to find some more uh, Pinot Noir. And when I say find some more, we're actually getting this from some of the really top um, growers in the, in the region. We're currently buying enough fruit to produce between 12,000 and 18,000 bottles of each wine. And when it comes to bottling, when we go to the final selection, we then barrel select and we take only the best wines to make 6,000 bottles of each. The Aristea um, flower is only found in the Western Cape. Uh, it symbolizes South Africa and it symbolizes what we're trying to do. There's nothing better, Matt, is there, than going into a bar, a restaurant, a hotel, somewhere else in the world, and seeing two people sitting there at a table with a bottle of Aristea or a bottle of your wine on their table and in their glasses.